All right, Penny Proud. Do you remember mm -hmm. Penny Proud from the Proud family? And the whole gang are back together. They are louder and prouder this time. So I luckily had the chance to chat with Kayla or Kyla Pratt and also Joe Marie Patton, who plays Sugar Mama, about the revival. The Proud family back louder and prouder than ever. How excited are you both? Ridiculously excited. I think mm -hmm. I think throughout the past 20 years, all of us have been hearing, hey, bring the Proud family back. So for it to finally be happening happening in the way that it's happening, like it's amazing. Everybody is going to die. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to die with laughter and, and, uh, and be happy that we're finally back. Yeah. and back full force, louder and prouder, as they say. Now, are you ever all in the same room? I know we're even doing this virtual. Were you able to like, get back together and really give each other hugs? No, when I first heard about um, heard about us rebooting it, the, the plan was for us to all record together, and then the pandemic happened to all of us, and we ended up having to record from home, and uh, which is not great for someone like me who only uses her computer for email. Uh, <laughs> but I think we all we all learned a little bit. Um, but no, we. It, but even seeing each other on Zoom, it feels like no time has passed. It feels like twenty years ago was twenty minutes ago. <laughs> it, it, yeah. it actually felt like a hug because everybody was so excited to see each other. It felt like we were hugging each other through the screen. Yeah. That's how mag magnetic it was. That's so sweet. I know this show even back. I feel like it was my childhood, right? So when it first was on television, um, you had so many nominations and awards for the or NAACP, excuse me, Image Awards. What do you think now with representation, why do you need the Proud family back and on Disney uh, Plus? I, I think it's important for us to be back on the air because we really portrayed something that was really special that we could do through animation as opposed to live action. And also because we were the first all African American animated series, you know, um, and that we had such a message and the message was so pertinent, you know, it was so today of that day, the same way 20 years later, our shows that we're doing now are right spot to spot on with what's wow. happening. And it's amazing because back then we talked about things that a lot of people shied away from mm -hmm. and now you know we our show still has the same essence of the proud family so if you watched it uh, during your childhood it's gonna feel like like joe marie said like a warm hug but then we've also updated a bunch of things we have new characters coming in to show even more representation mm -hmm. and for me growing up i didn't realize that i didn't have a cartoon like this um and i was able to be a part of it and so now with my young girls having something positive and and funny and relatable to watch you know i'm just i'm so excited and i know everybody else is right Kyla, the last time you were here, we were actually able to be in person on our couch. You came a couple times to be with us. You talked about your girls, and I wondered what you thought of them being able to get to see you in this role, because clearly, as I said, like, I watched it as a child, and it really resonated with me. Um, but to have your own daughters, that's got to be different. No, I'm so excited. I'm like, I, I'm so excited because years ago, I played uh, the Proud Family movie for them because I didn't have access to the the actual episodes. I think I have them on VHS and storage somewhere. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, to have them watch it and recognize my voice was a great feeling, you know, with them being so young at the time. And now they're older, they're eight and 11. So they have their little iPads and stuff. And I, my eight year old was on Disney Plus watching the preview over and over and over again. So uh, just to see how excited they are, you know, it just, it goes to show like, like I think Bruce always says like we make this show from for age, Six to 86, like everybody can relate. Everyone's excited. Even if you've never seen it before, I don't know where you've been. I'm gonna need you to catch up. <laughs> Come on. You know, it's something that everybody can relate to. And I, I just, I'm excited because I know people are gonna love it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Joe Marie, for you, when you see your voice tied to Sugar Mama's <laughs> character, and I saw some of the previews for this season, even like with all the muscles and things, What does is that strange for you to hear yourself and then see her on that character? It was 20 years ago for the very first time. I said, wow, look at that. And uh, what balanced it out for me was that uh, they were able, the artists and the directors were able to pick up all the little idiosyncrasies I did. If I bobbed my head or if I laughed and threw it back and all of that, then it made, it kind of fused it together for me, the voice with what I was doing, you know. And I think, I think that's one of the great things about Bruce Smith because he hadn't drawn anything 
until mm-hmm. after we recorded our episodes because he, he would watch our physical movements and the things right. that we were doing wow. and then he would bring that into the animation mm-hmm. and uh, I, he's just amazing in every season. Yes, yes he is. You have incredible guests this season as well. Who did I all see? Tiffany Haddish, Lizzo, um, Gabrielle Union's on it. What was it like to know that they were at least going to be part of it? I got excited about all of them, but Billy Port, I really got excited yeah. about <laughs> I was just I, I was just so pleased because I think it's just super talented. You know, it's exciting when you watch someone from afar and you enjoy their work and um, you know, you get to work with them in some way, even though we didn't get to be in the studio together or a part of something together, you yeah. know, and to know how big of fans that they are of the show, you know, just to come in and just be like, I just want to be a part is an amazing, amazing feeling. <laughs> I love they also talk about on coming up on Monday that Kyla's voice hasn't changed in hearing her laugh. <laughs> like it really does still sound it like brings the original character. Yeah. I just love their energy. I mean, you could tell that they love doing yeah. this project. They are proud of the Proud family and yeah. uh, just excited that it's back. Yes. Some and are, hearing more and more special guests are yeah. starting to talk about it this week. It's exciting. That list of names was yeah. amazing. Yeah. You can catch the two episode premiere on February 23rd on Disney Plus. And as I kind of said, you can join us on Monday. I'm going to talk to Tommy Davidson and also yeah. Paula J. Parker, who voiced Oscar and Trudy, Penny Proud's parents, which is also really exciting.